for his impact on the series with the ball, key wickets at critical times, and totally changed the dynamic of the series. 19 wickets in just six innings here at the Kia Oval, seven wickets, the LV Insurance Player of the Match, and England's LV Insurance Player of the Series, Chris Wokes. taking critical wickets and completely changing the dynamic of the series. That's quite a nice epitaph to take from this great series. Yeah, it's been um, an amazing few games. Uh, nice to, to obviously come into the side and, and contribute. Um, you know, I think the belief was there at 2-0 down to, that we could still go on and win the series. Uh, it's the incredible spirit that's in the dressing room. But um, yeah, I, th I think 2-2 is quite fitting, really. Um, you missed the start of the series, therefore standing here with all these awards, player of the match, player of the series, was probably slightly beyond the wildest imaginings. Yeah, absolutely. Um, not been a part of this squad and this team for, for over 12 months, so it was um, you know, just desperate to obviously get back in and have a go. And Yeah, it was just, I suppose, when you, when you come into an Ashes series, you want to perform, you want to, you want to contribute to, to obviously team wins, um, and couldn't have asked for it to go much better, really. And was there always a part of you that thought, because five tests are coming in about six weeks, I'm going to get my chance, therefore you're always slightly readying yourself? Yeah, definitely. I think that was always in the back of your mind. You know, five, five tests with the gruelling schedule that it is, you always felt like I might get an opportunity at some point. Um, and yeah, I, I didn't know when it was going to come, but I just tried to make sure I was ready as much as possible. And um, yeah, I actually didn't feel in great rhythm coming into the series when I got my nod, so actually to perform like I did at Headingley was probably the most pleasing part. Yeah, I was going to ask that because you came in, you made an immediate impact. Uh, why then, if you didn't feel in particularly good rhythm, why did it happen for you straight away? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Stokesy bowled me up the hill at Headingley, which I hate as well. So um, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I, got, I think I got a wicket, an early wicket in that spell and it kind of settled the nerves. And I think whenever you come into a big series like that, it's important to get an early wicket to, to calm you down. From that, on, from that moment on, I, found, I did find a, a, a bit of rhythm and... Look, you've got to have a little bit of luck go your way as well, of course. Um, and thankfully, it went all right. Um, and hitting the winning runs there with Western Terrace in the, in the background, was that a, a, your favourite moment of the series for you? Um, I think that, that today is probably up there, I think. Um, probably up there with, with you know, my best probably moments in, t in Test cricket, really. Um, obviously, for, for Brody to go out the way he did, incredible. Um, I think it's fitting, really, the way he went about it. That's typical of Stu, isn't it? I'm sure he'll let us know about his last ball that he hit for six in Test cricket and his last ball that he took a wicket. So, um, incredible for him, obviously, the light for him to go out like that. And, um, yeah, that today with this crowd was, was amazing. And you moved move on to Manchester after Headingley. took your first five-wicket haul against Australia, actually. You've not always found them the easiest of opponents. No, well, they're, they're pretty good, aren't they? So, <laughs> it, it's, not, it's not always easy to, to obviously take big scalps. I think that's the most pleasing thing about the series. I've managed to get big players out, which is nice. Um, but yeah, first five wicket haul in the Ashes series, that's where you feel you want to do it on the biggest stage. And obviously this is, you know, the pinnacle of test cricket and the pinnacle of cricket in our opinion. So amazing. Um, and this morning, after a very difficult day yesterday, when not much was happening, it seemed to suddenly start moving around a bit, a useful ball change. Yeah, um, <laughs> I mean, we were happy with that. I'm not sure the Aussies were, but, uh, you know, it, we made most of the conditions, I think. Obviously, when you get a ball change like that, you hope it works in your favour, and thankfully it did. Um, but obviously we still had to put the ball in the right areas and ask the right questions and, you know, we caught well as well, which is obviously really important. Um, 34 now, still multi-format player. How is the immediate future looking for you? Are you still uh, eager to compete in Test cricket abroad as well? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll leave that to, uh, to Stokesy, Captain and, um, and Baz, obviously. But, um, look, I've, I enjoy what I've done this series. I know what I can do at, at home. You know, the record is, is half decent, so I'd like to obviously continue that. But I want to play as much cricket for England as possible. That's, that's the main aim. You know, we, we see international cricket as, as the pinnacle. And, you know, there's obviously more and more cricket coming around about with franchise stuff. But, you know, you don't get the feeling like this anywhere else in the world. You don't. Well done. Cheers. Thanks, man.